Get it? When you out here moving, make sure that you're doing you, that you're doing you. You're only born to do one thing. Hello, hello, it's the Certified Cast Podcast. It's your boy EJ Dapro, a.k.a. Man Hustle, a.k.a. Mr. When I was a young warthog, <laughs> when I was a young warthog. Going on. Sir Lou is, and we're back again with a very special guest, Mr. Corey Chapman. What's up, man? Hello, hello. Corey in the house. What's up, man? Yes, sir. How's it going, fellas? Everybody good, man? Good, man. Good. Good to be here. I like the studio a lot. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Very nice ambiance you fellas have here. We got it. We got it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Ambiance. I just learned it yesterday. (laughs) (laughs) You know, I heard it. I've been using it like crazy. You got to insert it out into the matrix. You know, it's funny, you know, because back when I went to, uh, I studied in Ecuador, they used to call me uh, El Quesadilla, which was famous for African sniper. So, yeah, I love a good quesadilla. (laughs) 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 No, no, no. I'm just playing. No. Especially from Ecuador. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God. <laughs> oh man, well we got we got a good friend of mine that just a long time, just a long time. I've known this man a long time. And he's been doing this thing in this acting game for a long time. Uh, he's a pillar in this community and definitely definitely look forward to this interview. So, uh where you from? Uh born and raised actually in Decatur, Georgia, East Side. Decatur. 06. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Yes, I gotcha. So, uh what made you get into acting? Um, man, just, you know, we came up in the golden era of TV. I yeah. feel like, you know, like, uh, you had shows like Keenan and Kel, Mad TV, SNL was really popular in the Chris Rock and Adam Sandler era, especially, yeah. uh, Chris Farley and stuff like that. We just had so much just great content. You had Jim Carrey and, and Living Color and then the Ace Ventura days. It's just like, man, it just, we just were blasted with like all kind of great content. So being on TV was just like. It was just amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, my parents used to like, I was an only child, so like I'd be bored, you know? So like I used to just like do impressions and stuff like that. Or like my dad, honestly, Slick kind of started because he'd be like, do this. Or he, he would say like, you know, quotes from movies and stuff like that. Like, what do you mean I'm funny? You know, and like hit me with the good fellas or like something out of Planet of the Apes right. Jaws or something. Gotcha. So it's just kind of like, it just like, I just felt like, oh, you know what? I could I could do TV. And, you know, it's one thing I just was inter- is instantly naturally gifted at, I feel. Okay. Like. Hey, following your passion. Hey, it, re- it's, it resonated with your soul. I get so you're one of those people that where well, you can actually have a conversation and respond to somebody's, uh, like you're having a conversation with them, respond with movie type, with movie uh, lines and things like that. I mean, you ever seen people who can do that? Like they watch movies and they're so good with remembering lines and acting that they can yeah, respond that way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, sometimes if 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 the, right, if, the right. if it's appropriate, you know, or if, right, or, right. If, or if it's like a show that I know that we watch, you know, yeah, I hit right, you with right. like an insider. For yes, sure. I hope that I hope they burn to hell. That's right. Booty Talk seventy five right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's that forbidden <laughs> film now. <laughs> nah, I get it. I get it. Definitely. So, okay. I know at the time you kind of we kind of came in the same era, so it was new to Atlanta, but it was it new at the same time. Oh man, it was beautiful. Yeah, it was like a secret. It was like a it was a secret yeah. at one point. Every before everyone just started flocking to Atlanta, mm-hmm. you know, it was it was just like there was there was so much movies being shot because of like the tax revenue. Yeah, I remember like 2011 graduating Druid Hills. Um, they they were filming American Wedding like right down the street, and I just rolled up on that film set. Okay. And I was just like, you know, so like, you know, back then, you know, you're so curious. You have like, you know, like, oh my God, like, how, how can I get involved? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, and Dwayne, Dwayne Boyd, you know, back at Pan yeah. Pro, Premier Actors Network, he used to always preach that, you know, like he, he used to give us insider stuff on like what was happening in Georgia. But it just it just took over by storm, you know, at this point. Yeah, uh, I definitely. I definitely one thing about Dwayne, I give him this. He kind of called it 2010. 11, right. 12. Yeah. And it kind of worked out, and so I said that's definitely dope. Um, but as far as uh, where do you see yourself going with this now? Oh, uh, man, great question, because, you know, it's things are so different, you know, uh, ever since, like, I, I think people are still, rec- I mean, me personally speaking, like, uh, still kind of like returning from like COVID and all yeah. that and just kind of trying to base like, okay, where's, what's the direction now? Because I mean, you see TikTok, you see Instagram influence, you know, the, these guys will get a role so quick, you know, it's like with, with, with very limited acting experience, if you can build a, uh, if you can build some content for yourself that, uh, you know, you're doing on the daily probably, you know, and like a straight business, that's what I feel like they're going to respect more, you know? Yeah. I mean, you know, you know, you know, just as well as I do, I mean, well, like actors, right? 
bro. Like, you know, we, we sit around a lot and like wait for opportunity. Yeah. So it's just like, it's just, you never like to be like a lead player, I think in this game and to have longevity in this game, you gotta just like be like, you just gotta be gutsy. You gotta, gotta be and that's what I'm trying. And that's what I'm still trying to figure out. Like, you know, even like over 10 years deep, you know, yeah. it's just like, it's so many things like you still gotta learn. Like there's no such thing as an overnight celebrity. Mm -hmm. No just, such thing. Just like the branding as far as just how you want to present yourself, how you want to be represented. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cause, cause everything changes, you know. Like it, you might be, you might have been hot for a time, but then like just things change, and there, there might like someone might be like, there might, there's twelve years old, there's twelve years old people right now that would like school me on TikTok, right. like mm -hmm. editing, like just have their whole formula down. You got to stay prevalent, I feel like, and I'm still trying to learn that, yeah. cause I so, ba I so badly just want to be like, oh, forget social media, forget all this, you know, it's, it's stressing me out, you know. But it's just like, well, this is kind of the life I chose, you know. Yeah. So it's like I have to always be like thinking about myself as a business. Right type of thing is it true mm -hmm. yeah that's well spoken because you know right right before it was to a point to where it was like you know it was a burnout on all of the social media mm -hmm. uh content so it was like all right what else can you do mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden you're right it's turned around i be i look at a lot of TikTok, you know things i'm like and, and, and you know, it's not much. I, I'm not taking anything from them, but it's, yeah. it's not much. But you're right; they will. And it, it moves you like yeah, because it, it, because it's it's consistent. It's yeah. consistent, you know. Like there's yeah. like that one guy that Kane Rick. that that uh, Kane mm -hmm. Trulio guy. It's like yeah. Oh, come over here, you know. Yeah. You know, he had that one little gimmick, but then like he now he's like boxing blue face. I mean, think about you know it. what I mean? Like, and you know he's getting movie prom promotion deals from that. You know? I mean, we dog face. <laughs> All that man did was get on a skateboard and drink some cranberry juice. <laughs> man's doing man's doing hundred thousand dollar commercials now for ocean right. spray. I mean. Right. You know that it's just it's just that's what it is, and and like you know I I I, I you know wish everyone the best like you know, but yeah. it's just like it makes you like kind of sit back as an actor and kind of strategize like all right I got to get back in the mm -hmm. lab like what's what's not working what do I need to redo and all this stuff is kind of by chance anyway. Yeah. But that's that's what we that's what we knew going in as actors anyway. Right, right. I say uh, a lot of actors get pissed off about it, but I say this: they say hard work beats talent, and I always say until the talent starts to work. Hard, yeah. Then you're fucked. Yeah. So now it's just a matter of just figuring out your niche and your lane or whatever that is, because it might be doing doing skits and they say, oh, he's got a sense of humor, so now we can put him in this, and you could do, and you got your range. You actually have the talent mm -hmm. now, so it's not as if, oh, we is he talented? It's more of a, oh well, we know he can do this, so mm -hmm. I say, I say, go for it. Yeah, well, I mean, it's heart too. You know, you gotta have a lot of heart. Yeah, it's all about how you are in your mind. You know, I've seen a lot of talented people just like in their mind, they're just not like they they doubt themselves a lot, or they're they're uh, you know focus on other things, and so. Yeah. You know, you can never really get to the point you need to go without the heart and the focus to, to do so. It's it's all a mind thing. Like it's literally. Well, go go, no, no, I was just gonna say, yeah, it's literally like how you wake up. Like, what are your thoughts in the morning? Like. How your day is gonna go, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. That's 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 the other side of social media. You know, you have you, you actually get to see, and you know, I tell people it's one of those things because, and, and I can tell that you you know you observe you, you all because like you said, well, acting is different. You know, you all have you have to you know put in as you know got a lot of popularity, politics and this shit now. You know what I'm saying? So when you're sitting back and you steady, you know you're consistently. Let me say that word. You know, attempting to book and you're seeing someone that you know you know that may not be as talented. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes a lot of TikTok shit is not even the work being put in. It's just a by chance thing. It kind of makes you look at it like. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's a lot of things. That's what happened. People quit because yeah. subconsciously, you know, you know, it, it, like I call it, just sitting with your shit. You gonna mm -hmm. see something be like, how in the fuck? You, you know what I'm saying? Now some people are envious, and just, so you can keep that from happening. You know what I'm saying? Happening. Mm -hmm. I'd rather you go jealous with jealousy than to be envious. That's that's some other but, shit. But mm -hmm. that really, I, I think that's really affecting a lot of people and keeping them from their dreams. And like you say, having them that doubt and things like that. Mm -hmm. You have to stop paying attention. That that's the. That's the downside of social media. You you, you, know you really do. It, it, it's such a gift and a curse, the social media thing. Like, right. you have to, like, um, to be in this business, you know, you have to be about it. Right. But it's like, if you can just promote your stuff and then just sit back and, like, right. don't even, right. like, read the comments, don't even, like, be scrolling. If, if you can do that, then that's awesome. You know what right. I mean? Right. If, like, and if, and if you, make sure you check your spam folder, too, by the way. 
because like I, I figured out I've been missing out on some money. Like people will hit you up, like want like offering you stuff or want you to come on. So that that spam it's folder is important. Spam, on right. Yeah. <laughs> that's a side note. Right, you right. Know. But that's 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 a good one because like you say you're missing out on money and opportunities because mm-hmm. you never know. I mean, it, it is some messages but, that I go to. But at the same time, yeah, because I mean, it can really get in your head. You know, mm-hmm. like uh, it, it, like you know, like I, I love seeing people book, but at the same time, I I can't I can't I'd be lying, you know, if I was just like self doubting myself when I see that right, type right. of thing thing right. you know like nowadays how i treat auditions and i've been doing this for a couple years now mm-hmm. it's like i'll get that script i'll you know jot it down put it in my head act it out do it and then i throw that script in the trash don't like i don't it. think about anything like that like i could care less i don't i don't i used to like be like oh who i i, I went out for this who, who booked it you know like i gotta watch it no i don't even care like i yeah. you know it is what it is because like it, it's all it's all a divine timing you know it's like what's for you is for you I did have an audition though for Euphoria, and I just started watching that show. That guy August, yeah. awesome actor. I had a, I had an audition for Fezco. Yeah, you can imagine how different the show would have been. But I'm super proud of him. Dude. He crushed it. You know, crushed it. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Euphoria. I've heard it. Uh, Zendaya's new show. Uh, well, it's been out for a minute. Zendaya. I, I got that confused with uh, the, the other one. What was it? Uh, Utopia. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can that see was that. <laughs> what, maybe it's just me. Subjectively, uh, I, don't know. <laughs> I mean, the first I watched one episode, I was like, Yeah, you know, I'm just bad guy to leave this like, alone, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, so it, and it, and it makes sense because you definitely you have it, it's an individual sport at the end of the day, yeah, it really is. So you have to have that mentality to say, Yeah, I'm uh, congratulations, I still got to I still gotta get mine though. All right, that's that's fine and dandy that and, you book. And, yeah. and also too, man, I, I think um, I'm finding out too. Like living in Atlanta can also be a crutch. You know, this is such a uh, flex city, right? Like yeah. all it takes is you flex get like a couple lines in a show. Yes. People people are gonna get like even if you don't think you're popping, people are gonna put in your head like, oh, you popping, man? You you right. you star in this, bro? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's like, and it's just like it just gives you it gives us kind of like this. Um, false security that like we're really doing it big right like um i i think it's i think a mistake that i've made is, is accepting too many pats on the back you know like like i've really done so much it's like nah man like i need to humble myself way down like i still have mountaintops to go and it's just yeah. like you know you gotta i just you gotta stay hungry bro yeah. you really do and, that, and that's what keeps you hungry because a lot of people doing things is validation and ego strokes so mm-hmm. i was i was speaking with a friend of mine not a friend, let me scratch that word, uh, a brother of mine, and we were speaking about that. And, and now we were saying the compliments and uh, the insults, we're taking that the same fucking way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. we right here in the middle, so it don't matter. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we stay neutral and we keep going. Now, you gratitude for you seeing what you're seeing, but that keeps, you know, them pat on the backs, you know, it gives you that false security, and then you go somewhere and you see somebody like, damn, he killed the road. Mm-hmm. I ain't do shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right, you said that, and that's what kind of bring you down. Like you said, some people get brought down that way a lot here. You know, where they actually go somewhere and you, you they get out work and like, man, I, as you said, I really wasn't doing what I thought I was doing. You know what I'm saying? Especially early on, I think that's yeah. the worst thing that can happen to a, a creator is they receive uh-huh. like um, pre, pre, um, like they, they receive success too early before they can actually develop their skills. So mm-hmm. when you get out there, you're booking all these roles, but then you mm-hmm. get around some real big dogs in this game, and then they start realizing that, yeah, you can't really do what you can do. So I think you always have to prepare yourself, because if Denzel still got an acting coach, why don't you have one? Yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. You should always be training if you can, for uh-huh. sure. Yeah. So uh, what would be some of your favorite, uh, okay, what would be some of your favorite experiences on set? Um, Favorite experiences? Um. Quite a few, man. Um, I shot a tank one time. This was just doing a Country Wayne skit. This wasn't even like anything major. I was just uh, helping along him on a skit. And then, yeah, I got to shoot a a live tank, which was dope. Probably wouldn't be doing that any otherwise. Um, Let's see, some other experiences. Um, I, Tanya, was fun. If anybody knows that scene with Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie. Um, How was that? How do you prepare yourself for? You know, like you, you know what's crazy um, for for those who have seen the movie. Um, if you haven't, definitely go watch it. But um, 
Uh, so like the director, he uh, he just told me like the scene. I was never supposed to just grope her her boob like that, you know. Like the the scene, the, I was supposed to just like do like some like you know. I was doing like this little spider thing with my fingers, you know, like some creepy shit. Right. You know? Can we cuss on here? Yeah. Yeah, some creepy Ooh, shit. You know what I'm oh, yeah, just making God. sure, you know, just making sure. But yeah, and so uh, so then the director was just like, "Hey man, it's not selling enough." He's like. like Grab one of her titties. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, just grab one of her titties. <laughs> He's like, I'm like, I'm like, for real. He's like, I'm the director, man. Good. I'm like, shit. All right. So I'm kind of just like, all right, this like next scene, I, like, the next the next take we do. I'm just like, all right, um, going for it. <laughs> Here we go. A <laughs> list celebrity, no big right. deal, you know. Right. And then uh, yeah, so then I go, I go behind and I I I, I grope her titty, and then like uh, the reaction was just brilliant, you know, from her. Cause she didn't see it coming. Right. Takes the curling iron and then just hits me across the face with it. It, it was scripted to do that, yeah. you know. And then it just, it, I mean, I, I believe I'm pretty sure that's the shot they went with was like the first take of that, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah. It's so, mad she been reacting a certain way. You like, bro? Yeah. Hell nah. That's crazy. So, yeah, and then uh, I've had a. Uh, I've had a couple sex scenes on on set. Those are you did. those are interesting, like interesting. But I was super think. young too. Cause it's not what you think. Cause it's a lot of people in this goddamn room. Yeah. Oh my god. No, we're not shooting this hot steamy porn no. like by any standard. No, no, no. Like there's like tape involved. Like there's like tape on her nipples. I bet that's yeah. painful to take off. Like yeah, yeah man. It's uh, it's it's wild. And everybody's like, yeah, just do it again. Yeah, uh, yeah. Do that grinding move right there. there yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're like you're like semi, you know, and it's yeah, like yeah. It's Shit, awkward. That's actually how that go. Uh -huh. they, they actually yeah. not rate yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. They got. It's not what you think. It's yeah. Yeah. Much. I did a I did a movie with um with a uh, Melanie, you know, from uh, Pan, and uh, we had to um we had to like like they had they brought in a coach. I had to like work with this woman, and we had to like do this whole like tango scene in the bedroom. And she like bites my neck because she's a vampire. Right. You know, but it was it was interesting too, just getting coached on that. Like basically, this woman was coaching me how to be sexy. You know, she's like, "No, stare at her like this and come at her like this." Feel natural. And I'm just like, "Yeah, I'm just like, I don't feel like this is not right. how I would do it." But you know, we'll see we'll see how it looks when the movie comes yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. <laughs> so what did she say after you did that though? And uh, I uh, with Margot Robbie. Oh, so we well we um we did it like God, we did it like twenty times, twenty right. different takes. And then, um, you know, after, like, we had shot it, we had shot something else, and then I finally got a chance, like, the scene was wrapped, and, you know, I got a chance to actually go up and, you know, say, hey, and thank you for the experience. And that's what I said, basically. I was like, hey, Mark, I hope that wasn't too much. Like, you know, she's like, oh, my God, I know you're a sweetheart. Like, gives me a hug and stuff. And then... And then the, uh, the PAs come out, they're like, hey, Corey, we've got the van for you. Let's go. Oh, that's <laughs> it. Know? Okay, cool. Get you in and out of here. Right, that's know? it. Yeah. <laughs> You're just an Atlanta talent. <laughs> oh, nah, nah, nah. No, no. Yeah, yeah. But um, what would be your process of when you try to get into these darker characters? You play, you've done a lot, man. I know you try to downplay it, but you've been consistently booking for the last, what, 10 years? Oh man, I mean, yes. I start. I well, man, maybe like eight, you know. I mean, it's twenty twenty twelve. I think I start. I got the ball rolling like twenty twelve, twenty thirty. Right. Yeah, twenty twelve was like right. my first like SAG. It's people that don't even get auditions. I know. I think people don't realize that like just getting auditions is a thing in itself. Yeah, it is. Right. Yeah, it is. You got to be a bulldog. You gotta you gotta really want it for yourself because yeah. other people, you know, it's, they'll do a lot to get it. Yeah, you gotta you gotta see that you want it for yourself. Yeah. Always creating content on the side helps. Mm -hmm. But uh, to answer your question, oh, man, yeah, I, I usually do dark character roles. It's taken a toll on me, too, over the years. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like just to go there. But, I mean, it's just, I don't know, it's different, you know, just depending on the character. Like um, when I played Dylan Klebold and I'm Not Ashamed, like no. that was probably my biggest one just because of all the eyes that were seen on it. And that one, man, the, like these guys left so many home tapes. If you don't know, it's the Columbine Massacre. That yeah, happened. No, I was thinking like yeah, that. in Colorado back in '98, like these yeah. two kids were getting bullied, and uh, they said, yeah. "Man, we're not gonna take this. We're gonna go, go down as like two like Hitler type guys who like couldn't, you know, who rebelled against the system." But yeah. and they tried to set bombs in the school and everything, and had guns. But they just left so many home tapes, so I was able to like adapt through through. I really felt like I was him, you know, in, right. in a crazy way. And then the the craziest thing was meeting the mom. Um, cause it was, it was based on Rachel. She was one of the girls, like she was one, she's basically the Anne Frank. She had a journal that she kept all school year and she felt like that was going to happen. And so she kind of predicted it in a sense. Yeah. And then we ended up killing her like pretty on early in, in our shooting raid. And, uh, the mom was actually the executive producer 
of that film and so she'd come on set and i had to like meet her and that was just so awesome yeah it's like hey i'm playing the character that killed your daughter <laughs> yeah. nice to meet you you know yeah. that was that was that was intense that was probably the roughest part of the whole of the whole ordeal honestly but um it just depends like um like dark character like i'd, I'd love to play joker Right, you know, oh, yeah. or like Charles Manson, you know. I feel like I'm, yeah. I feel like I've been conditioned to like go that route, you know. And it's it's weird too, because when you get in this game, you don't exactly know like where it's gonna take you. Like, are you a comedian mostly, or you know, are you are you really good at soap opera or drama, or are you just that detective, or you know, do you look look like a nerd, or you don't you don't really know where your like lane is until you really start trying it and feeling it out. It. Yeah, yeah. I didn't get in th in this game thinking like, man, I'm gonna do all this dark goth yeah. stuff. I'm gonna paint my nails black and. Just you know, everything is doomed. No, I didn't go into it like that. But um, you know, I have I have a love and appreciate for all types of people, you know. And the dark stuff just kind of calls for me. Wow. Yeah. So how 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 often do you detach? How soon do you detach from that once the project's over? Um, I like to detach immediately. Smoke right. a joint. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like <laughs> just kick back. You know? Yeah. Just yeah, you definitely you know to. meet meet some people, meet some strangers. Just try to do something else. You know? Yeah. I try to have a range with my stuff. I never try to just do like anything one sided too much. You know, try to switch it up. So even during the, that type of project, are you in it completely, hundred percent? Yeah, 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 yeah. No like snap once, out of it. Yeah, okay. no, like one, yeah. Once I like show up to to work that okay. day, it's like that. I'm in. Like I can go home and like kind of unwind from it. But mm -hmm. I, when I'm when it's like a nine to five almost. You know, it's like when I wake up in the morning, it's like all right, like new day. This is this is what I'm tapping into, okay. and I'm not coming out for a while. Yeah. Like and I'll t like if I'm if I'm dating someone or something at that time, like I'll even tell her like don't text me today. <laughs> like gotcha. Corey's Corey's checked out for a minute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got you. Yeah, because yeah. you're in character. Yeah, yeah it takes a lot to tell someone. Mm -hmm. Because then because then you could say something right, and then I'll I'll just go way out of way out of like the norm because it's like maybe if I have to be in this rage, you know, it's Indeed. like something simple could just like right. tw just make me go off. You know what I mean? And it's, and that's crazy. Being you know? the actor is actually is 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 actually like it's hard on the, on the <laughs> on the psyche. Yeah, it is. Uh, what's it? What, what's his name? Um, um, he passed away. What was his name? Legend. No, mm. actor. Michael K. Williams. Michael K. Williams. Yeah. Mm. And uh, Charlemagne was asking him that. He asked him, you know, you playing these characters. And you know, you know what characters he play. Mm -hmm. You know, which really that was him. But you know, you know Charlemagne, of course. You know, he goes. You know, say so, yeah. so he was asking them, you know, you know, what do you do, you know, to get out of these characters? Because you know, if you go a month, two months, three months, and four months, your subconscious is automatically going to absorb whatever characteristics and because you being that mm -hmm. you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying and he was like you know he said the same thing you said it was the people around him you know but I, I believe some people really get stuck like if you think about the actors who constantly book like how can you even take them serious you know like are you who are you really you know <laughs> like mm -hmm. you said because they're so used to getting being here and being there but yeah man that's right you have to balance you know what I'm saying especially with dark but I mean we're all dark in a way yeah yeah you know we are but that one right there I ain't gonna lie that would kind of be like you know that's wow. You know what I'm I mean, you know you and for her mom to be there, and she's probably like, yeah, do it this way. You know, like oh yeah, that yeah. Yeah, you're a producer, right? Like you know, what I'm saying so that that's kind of like you know that'll you know that'll kind of make me feel awkward. Yeah. You know, because mm -hmm. you, you know, have to balance. Because you know, all right, they they tell us early on, at least what we train at, don't judge the character, but considering what the magnitude of what the character did, that's always gonna be like just a little mention in your psyche, like oh okay, that's. How, how did he get to this point? You know, he... Yeah, but you know, like, that's art. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like our art usually is like, I got to bring a character that you wrote down on paper to yeah. life, you yeah. know, period. Like that's that's yeah. what it calls for. That's my job. That's what I'm going to do. That's you know, if, I, if, if I'm a painter and I, and, I, and I create a painting and it made you think of your daughter and you cried, I'm not going to feel bad about but, that. You know what I mean? Like I did my job. Like I, I, made, I made it soul wrenching for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. We all need to be shaked a little bit. You yeah. know, we're all just energy, and we have this body temporarily, right. and we need to be reminded that like how small right. we are. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's a beautiful thing, man. Like, right. we we always got to create art, always. Always. It's pyrite, right? Mm hmm Yeah, it is pyrite. Yes, sir. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Yes, yes, sir. I just threw this on too. I was about. I was like, am I gonna clip this on before Emmanuel gets into the car? Like, <laughs> it, was, that was, it was literally like clock. The clock was ticking. Like, I might not be wearing this. Right. Like, you know, it's, it's such a struggle to put these things on sometimes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but it worked out. And I see you got your. Uh, wh which one is that, by the way? This is lapis. Lapis. Okay. Yeah. Dope. Dope. Yeah. Dope. Yeah, it's lapis. Okay. 
Yeah, um, but, yeah. Is it, okay. Uh, can, did you ever see yourself get into, like, the director's chair at some point? Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always wanted to, like, direct and uh, produce and just be more of, like, a, of the machine, you know, um, that, that, you know, makes the wheels turn on set. Definitely. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I want to I wanna definitely direct eventually, um, write more and stuff like that. But the all-time goal was always, like, be, like, a, a, a known director. Yeah. I'd rather, hell no, I'd rather produce and write. Get the fuck out of the way. I do. Yeah. I just know, like, directing, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Especially if you're not getting. We think about the good stuff when you're working with talented people. Mm-hmm. Just imagine you're working on a project and they can't get to where you need them to be over and over again. Yeah, that's true because I mean the producers are really like the monsters on a, on yeah. a film set. They're the ones that are crushing it, like locking locations, right. like making things happen, making sure the set design looks right. Director, things just have to kind of be right there. Right. And if they don't, you got to be like you got to be quick with your decision making. But also, like you're not really a part of like what is going on behind it. Yeah. So it's it's really annoying as a director. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. Like I haven't really directed many things, like other than sh- other than uh, short films, but. Right. I imagine, yeah, it's probably the most stressful thing in the world. But I mean, it really all—all yeah, all this is really, no matter what your yeah, job is on set. Yeah, yeah it, it's yeah. all super. It's stressful. one of the things once once you start doing it, because it's just like anything. I mean, and life is just accepting the challenge. Like right, like writers too. You know, like I don't think I could be a good writer because like I get too attached to the material I write, and then it's like, oh no, we're gonna change that really quick. So th- okay. think, think of something really quick, like change the last ten minutes. Right, right. And it's like, dang, like <laughs> you know, yeah. not too much writer's block for that. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Definitely. I mean, uh, considering that, what type of roles would you see yourself playing? Like, do you that you haven't played yet? I could see myself playing like Robin. Okay. Joker. Gotcha. Um, stuff like Uncharted and shit like that. Yeah, I, you know, like I want to, I want to, like I'm, you know, I've been in the gym. I want to okay. get stronger and uh, try to play a Viking. Okay. I want to play. You know that that yeah. new show is really good. I want to. Yeah. You know, maybe play some like I, I like you know like time time period stuff. Peace period. Yeah. Peace. Mm-hmm. I got you. Maybe like a like a you know Zeus. Mm-hmm. You know. No, yeah, put it out there. Yeah. Say it. It's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. It's gonna happen. As yeah. far as and, uh, and, and that's and that's another thing too that that I I like about the journey too is I I, I do put thought into that but I also I kind of just like to see what comes you know like it's you you never know where your your future is going in this yeah. craft you know and that's yeah. that's the most fascinating part for me it's like I really don't plan all that too much like oh, I'm gonna play this character that character right. it's just like what's gonna come on my desk right. and then like is that is that for me we'll see because you look at Brian Cranston. Break it, like he went from Malcolm in the Middle to Breaking Yeah, like, like do you do you really think Brian Cranston was like no. filming Malcolm in the Middle? Was like, man, I'm gonna be a meth drug lord in this in this ne- in the in the future in my career. Like he didn't. I don't think he saw that coming. Matter of fact, he wasn't even like you know, the first, second, or third person thought of for the role. Then the, on the channel it was on as well. Who would have thought that was gonna do that at that time? No, Breaking Bad was a monstrous show. Yeah. Um, huge show. Love that show. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. It's, yeah, man. It is, could you see yourself like, okay, I always tell actors this. What type of business ventures would you like to get into outside of acting? I've been thinking about this a lot, man, because, you know, I'm like, I'll be 30 this year. Right. And it's like, whoa, you know? So um, I haven't really put too much thought into it my entire life. I always was kind of just like, let me just do what I enjoy and hope I get rich off of it. (laughs) But you kind of got to be a little smarter, you know? You need to be a little more strategic, especially when you get older. So uh, real estate, I've been been highly thinking about getting involved in um, just because, like, I got, you know, friends and family who are doing it, and they're making it work for them and, like, not too much time. You know, I didn't – I'm not, like, a huge scholar type of person, so I don't really have a degree to look back on. So – I'm looking at stocks, real estate, like things that seem very lucrative that don't have like a ceiling, mm-hmm. you know, where you can just kind of like, you know, make create as your own much lane. as you need. Yeah, yeah, oh. exactly. Yeah, yeah, create your own lane. Yeah, like you said, there's no ceiling, you know, mm-hmm. no margin. You, you can make what you want. Exactly. You know, with those type of. Exactly. Like, 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 like I'm like I'm good with sales jobs and stuff like that. I've had all kind of side jobs. I mean, if you can imagine like taking the route that we take as actors, yeah. you're, not, you're not always working, so you got to figure it out. But. Uh, I don't sales is just like if I'm not passionate about what I'm selling like I can't I can't do it I don't care how good I am at it yeah man, passion don't, don't waste your time exactly You're man not passionate about it yeah life's too short for that for real yeah yeah 
Yeah, you, you you just have to. My 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 biggest gripe with that was always. Everybody say backup plan. I said don't do that. What you need to do is find ways to support the dream, mm-hmm. as opposed to saying if I don't get it, just say all right. Well, I'm gonna. It's like building a house. Got to build your foundation first. So let these incomes, these side hustles, fund support you, and then that way you go for what you want. Yeah, I mean, looking back at it, like, like, and looking back at the twenties, like, if I could have done anything different, it just would have been like, just more so like thinking about ways to like have money always coming in. Mm -hmm. Whereas like when you got residuals and stuff like that, you can actually put that on the back burner. You can actually save that. 